Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back to show, do another um, cooking video. Um, I'm doing Brussels sprouts. Now, I just want to say um, I may have tried Brussels sprouts one time, and when I tried it, I did not like it. But I thought since, you know, I'm, about to, I'm back to trying to eat healthy and introduce more vegetables other than mushrooms, spinach, salad, you know, carrots, you know, kind of going out of the box. And I just, these are all the bus Brussels sprouts that I bought because I wanted to give them a try first. And I looked up a recipe on how to cook them. And, um... It just said to add some um, some salt, and this is the salt that I use when I cook. I use Morton's kosher salt. I added some pepper, and um, it says olive oil, and this is the olive oil I like to use. Um, this is about ten dollars or so, twelve dollars. And the reason why I like to use this is because um, it has, you know, the date on it, like when it was harvested. You know, those are things that I look for, as well as um, it not being a GMO product, even though it doesn't say that. But does it say it? I don't know. It's supposed to be a very good olive oil. So I use this one, and it's another one that I use. But anyhow. And then I just cut up some, chopped up some fresh garlic. Now I did read in one of the comments on all recipe, all recipes I think it's called, that um, one of the comments said that they parboiled it first to take some of the bitterness out. So I did that too because I don't like bitter vegetables. But basically, what I'm going to do is just, you know, mix it all up. They still hot. So mix and mix it up, and um, and then I'm gonna put it in the oven on roast. I do have a roasting um, feature com in the, on the convection feature of my oven, and so it says cook on 400 degrees. It says roast on 400 degrees. I guess if you don't have the roasting feature, you can bake, you know, whatever works for 30 to 40 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm hoping that, you know, these um, taste good because, as I said, the one time I tasted them, and it was a probably a long time ago, I did not like the way they taste, but I thought I would give it another try and try to do it myself. So, um... I will let you know how it tastes, and I will be back with um, another um, video added on to this with some chicken breast, pan fried chicken breast. So be right back. So I am back. Here's the um, chicken breast. Um, this, these are lemon uh, chicken breasts. They have like a lemon sauce on them, and I just added some. Um, seasoning salt just a little bit just to kind of give it some taste and some pepper I ran out of my garlic powder and um, basically it's in my little I love this pan and I just added a little bit of oil I'm gonna turn the fire on I do have a gas stove and then I'm gonna let these cook you know for a little while on each side until it's brown and these are kind of thick sometimes so I just cut them in the middle sometimes just to make sure that um, they are cooked all the way through so um, I'm gonna go and show you the package um, of the chicken the package that came that the chicken breast came out of and where I bought it from so this is um, the package that it came out of is from Wegmans. For some of y'all that are not familiar with Wegmans, they are it is an East Coast uh, grocery store. I came across Wegmans when I lived in Syracuse. I absolutely love Wegmans. They have some of the best store brand um, products 
that I've ever tried or tasted. Um, as you can see, it's the lemon garlic. And each chicken breast is, um, it says 208, 220 to 280 calories, 60 to 100. I guess it depends on how you cook it. 60 calories to 100 calories. I normally cut it in half and only eat about three ounces. So, um, each chicken breast is seven and a half ounces. Yeah. So I cut them in half. I don't eat the whole thing. So one chicken breast is like two meals for me. Um, it came in a, they had a small four pack. As you can see, it's two in each um, thing. They also have a four pack and then they have a family pack, which comes with like eight chicken breast and they also had a barbecue um a barbecue sauce one too um, we used all of that I like the lemon and garlic better but um so I'm gonna let you know my chicken is starting to cook now um and once that finishes cooking I'm gonna toss some mushrooms in with it and toss that around you know, let that cook for like a minute or so. And, you know, my dinner is done. Um, the oil that I use, normally I will use my olive oil. But I use the rest of it for the Brussels sprouts. So I just use the little canola oil. Canola oil is not bad. It's normally olive oil, then canola oil. So I always keep canola oil in the house. As well as olive oil. But I didn't buy any olive oil this month. And that's basically from last month that I had. And so I used it all. But um, I will come back with the finished product if nobody calls me. Because I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode. So hopefully I could come back and show you the finished um, chicken breasts and mushrooms. Okay, see you in a bit. So the chicken is now done. Um looks good um, one thing I forgot to mention about this pan and I think I got this at Macy's is that this particular pan it cooks without any water or oil or butter or anything it actually is a non-stick a true non-stick cooking pan you know some of them they'll say non-stick but you know the food is sticking to it and you know you have to spray it with cooking spray or something but this is actually a true non-stick um, cooking pan so you don't have to add much oil to the pan if you do prefer to cook with oil as you know mushrooms release water so that is what the um, liquid is because I didn't add a lot of um, oil to the pan but as I told you before I cut them in half just to make sure they're cooked all the way through because these are kind of thick so um, I am cooking something else, so I'm going to show you that. So I'm back over to my counter, and I'm fixing these two pieces of fish because um, I didn't take anything out earlier for dinner that would, one meat that would feed all five of us. So I had two chicken breasts that easily thawed, that I thawed yesterday actually. Um, and I had two pieces of fish that I just thawed not too long ago, put it in cold water, and it doesn't take long for it to come apart. But um, I'm going to bake this fish so at least all of us will have something. You know, and then I still have the stuffed peppers from yesterday, and then we're going to have a salad. But this is tilapia, and the juice in there is lemon juice that's real from a real lemon I take a whole lemon cut it in fours and just squeeze it over the fish that's how I do all my baked fish I seasoned it with Old Bay get out out I'm sorry I seasoned it with Old Bay I sprayed the yellow stuff is I can't believe it's not butter sprite if you're not familiar with this um, I'm sorry if it's cloudy 
but it says zero fat you know I've been using this for a long time so there it goes so as you can see those are the nutrition facts and this is actually really good so I've been using this for a really long time and I've never had no problem with weight loss or being unhealthy or anything using it. Actually, a friend told me she worked in a cardiologist's office and he recommended his patients to switch to this if they wanted to use butter or anything. So, And then I sprinkled it with a little bit of lemon pepper. And I'm going to just put it in the oven. So I will be back to show you the Brussels sprouts when they are done. And y'all pretty much know how baked fish look when it's done. So I don't think I'm going to show that. But I just wanted to show you my fish and how I, um, my baked fish and how I cook it and prepare it and stuff. And that's basically about it. So be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So these are the Brussels sprouts. It says in the cooking directions to cook them till they're almost black. So I guess the outer parts are almost black. It did say to also peel off any outside yellow um, leaves, which none of the Brussels sprouts that I had had yellow leaves. But it also said to cut the ends off this part right here, which I didn't do. I forgot, but I could cut them off um, as I'm eating them or whatever. Um, they taste really good. Um, I like them. I like the way I fixed them. I will go out and buy me some more. Um, you definitely want to make sure you put your salt on them because if not, they can taste kind of bland. I like it with the garlic. Uh, I left them in the oven for about mm, 50 minutes or so. And I kept t turning them, you know, just taking a spoon and, and kind of tossing them. You know, like this, I can't do it with one hand while holding the phone, but just mixing it up while it was in the oven. And again, I put it on 400 roast. You can do it on 400 bake if you don't have the roasting feature on your oven. Um, but yeah, they're really good. I, you know, I like them. I like the way I fix them. So there you have it, Brussels sprouts. Very easy recipe. So, um, maybe I'll come back and show you the fish. Hold on. So, there you have it. My tilapia is done. It does not take long to cook. I just put it in the oven with the, um, when I had the Brussels sprouts in there on 400, but you can put it on, um, 350 if you wanted to cook slower, but tilapia takes less than, you know, maybe about 20 minutes to, if you want to make sure it's fully done um, so that's it those are my healthy dishes that you know I have made for tonight for our dinner and we're gonna have some spinach I do a lot of salad um, I buy a lot of salad they haven't had my mix that I normally buy so I just been buying spinach it's just easier it's lighter and all I really have to fix is um, a meat and my kids love salad so they could just pile up on it and then they have all of their toppings like I buy craisins, um, croutons, sometimes the almonds or walnuts or whatever the, the nuts that you put on salads and stuff so I buy all of that stuff and if they want to cut a tomato and cucumber that's in there too for them to do so Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please leave your comments in the box below. Don't forget to share on Google+. Give me a thumbs up. Peace.